Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I love you, sending you a big virtual hug wherever you are on the earth plane. I really quickly wanted to jump on and share how we can stay in this higher timeline, which is basically how we alchemize the density, which is basically how we shine the light on the dark. It's how we navigate this right now, right? So like I've said in many videos, it's going to get more intense and it is getting more intense. And like my guide said, it's going to feel like a twilight zone. So on a personal note, I live in Northern California and we woke up this morning to black, black sky, actually orange and yellow sky. That's what it looks like right now. It's 6 PM almost. Um, and uh, it was from all of the smoke from all the different fires in California. The strange thing was, is that it didn't smell like smoke outside. Um, and there was very little ash on my car, but it looked as if there was a fire right down my street and it was black out, dark black the entire day where I had to have lights on in my house. I've lived in California my entire life. I've seen many, many fires. I have never seen what I saw today and what I'm continuing to see. And so I want to share how I navigated it because we are currently, many of us are going to be experiencing these types of things. And many of us are right now, right? In many different continents, many different countries, many different cities, many different towns. We can't escape this. Unfortunately or fortunately, we have to actually experience it. So if you are in it, experiencing it, this is how you hold a higher timeline. You literally see through it. You see it as a consciousness, not as a person, right? But a consciousness. This BS that happened all day today is a consciousness. I don't know how it was designed and created. Okay. But I know that it is a consciousness that is designed to keep me in fear. And many humans will either ignore what just happened or find themselves in a little bit of a quandary of like, what does this mean? What's coming? What do I need to prepare for? Right? So there's a little bit of a fear consciousness they may feel, or there's humans that are going to go into a massive amount of fear. And this is happening all over the world. And so what you want to see and remember is that this consciousness, any of it, whether it's vaccines, whether it's masks, whether it's, you know, being locked in your house, whatever it is, that's a consciousness that we are dismantling. That's a consciousness that we are clearing. That's a consciousness that is dissolving and melting off of the earth plane. And it's, and it's being done by ourselves holding higher frequencies of light and not allowing it control to control us. And it's being done by many humans and higher dimensional light beings that we cannot see right now necessarily that is working behind the scenes to dismantle this. It's absolutely being dismantled, all of it. And we may not be able to see this dismantling right now. And we may only be able to see the twilight zones that are continuing to be shown to us, but it is our role. It is our job as the warriors of light to see through it. Just because you're in it, and experiencing it doesn't mean that the dark has won, that that lower density has won, and that we're screwed. Quite the opposite. We have to go through this. This is how we break it up. This is how we melt it. This is how we alchemize it. We have to actually experience it. I have to wake up at nine o'clock in the morning and it be very dark out. Because the louder that consciousness gets, the easier it is for us to alchemize it. Because I stood today in such a sovereign space. Here's how I got through it, right? I was smiling at this nonsense. I was looking at it as a big bully in the playground, getting louder and louder and louder. And me just saying, I'm sorry, you're going away. I don't know what to tell you. Keep getting louder. Keep getting stupider and crazier. But you're dissolving, my friend. You're melting right in front of my eyes and you're not going to control me and you're not going to tell me how to feel and you're not going to tell me what to think anymore because I see you 
And I see what you've been doing for, to humanity for thousands of years. And this time, it's not going to work. So I'm not going to give you fear. I'm not going to give you my control. I'm not going to give you my thoughts and beliefs. I'm going to choose. I'm going to be sovereign. I'm going to be safe. I'm going to be free in the midst of this chaos. And that is how you hold the higher timeline. You see through the nonsense. You see through it. Even when you have to be in it. I didn't have a choice. I had to wake up and I had to go and deal with this. It's not a big deal compared to what other people are dealing with. But it is going to get more intense, especially in California. Okay? So I have to go and move through it. I'm not a victim. I live here. I'm going through. I'm going to navigate this. Right? So we have, to, we have to recognize that just because you have to go through it and navigate it doesn't mean you're stuck in it, doesn't mean it's controlling you, and doesn't mean you need to play in the fear. It means you look at it as a big, huge bully that's getting louder and louder and louder and that does not win. And even though you're in it and it's getting big and buff and like, you know, really pushing you, just laugh through it. Smile through it. It doesn't win but it's gonna get a hell of a lot louder in order for us to clear the entire consciousness of it. Fear, manipulation, mind control, all of that. This is not normal, what I we woke up to today. Not normal. And my guides told me, this is consciousness. This is part of the consciousness you're clearing. And I don't care who designed it. I don't care where it came from. I don't care how it came. But it is not normal. And we are going to see more of this twilight zone over and over and over again. And we are here to see call BS on it. And to say no more. With an open heart. With our eyes open. With an open heart. With love and compassion and empathy you no longer are going to win. The dark is not going to win. So if you're in it, child's wearing masks, you have to wear masks, you're stuck in your house, you have a curfew, right? Um, what else is happening? I don't know. You wake up at nine in the morning, it's completely pitch back black. It's like, what the freak is this? Whatever's happening, smile right through it. Because it's going to get louder, you guys, the next couple months. It's going to get more insane. Do not believe it. Don't believe it. Visualize this as a bully in a playground that's getting louder and louder and louder. And you're smiling saying, ha, ha, I see through you. Cute. Real cute what you're doing right now. But you aren't winning. Remember, there are beings of light whether you believe me or not. There are beings of light in a higher state of consciousness with us and on the earth dismantling this. There are humans that are on the earth right now dismantling this. We are dismantling this. And all three of those groups that I just named, it's all being done in a way that we can't necessarily see it yet. So we have a hard time believing. You have to to choose to believe the higher timeline that I'm telling you right now plays out and wins. You have to choose that. And every time you find yourself in fear, remember what you're doing is you're basically handing yourself over to the bully. No, nothing wrong with that. It's what we've been doing. But just notice, oh my God, I'm playing in fear. I'm allowing that consciousness to once again take hold of me. And when you start doing that, you're going to get stronger in your sovereignty. You're going to get stronger in your voice. You're going to feel like a powerful being of light because you are. And you're going to say no freaking more. And however you navigate your nows right now, whether you stand up, whether you sit down, whether you speak up, whether you protest, whether you share things, whether you just silently pray and meditate, whether, you, whether you're doing invocations and prayers for the collective, whatever you need to do, do it. But remember that you are on that higher timeline, holding higher states of consciousness, 
no longer being manipulated and controlled. Thank God. You've got an open heart, right? And you're navigating this in every now moment in the midst of it. We're not going anywhere. We're in it. Stay focused. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. See through it and almost like you're smiling. I see you. I know what you're doing and you're not going to win. I love you. Thank you for being here. It's going to get crazier. See through it.